all right guys what's up welcome back to a new video today we are going to look on how you can make a jump scare in unity so no long intro let's dive straight into this so i'm going to be using a for my uh, jump scare i'm going to be using a image it's just a pennywise image that i found on the internet um i did make sure that this is a png file so it has a transparent background but yeah so once you have imported your image now you can use a character or whatever but in this tutorial i'm just going to be using an image i imported my image in unity in my assets folder but what we need to do is go into the texture type texture type and then click on sprite 2d and ui and then click on apply then in our canvas if you don't have one just go to ui and then make or click one right here then inside of this UI image, and it's going to be jump scare image, something like that. And then all we have to do is click and drag and put it in here. And there we go. Now, I don't like the way that it looks, so we're going to go into 2D mode. And we're going to uh, zoom in, press on F, and I'm going to scale it evenly. The way that you scale it evenly is by holding shift. So shift, and then there we go perfect so i'm gonna make him huge and then put him in the center okay i like the way that that looks then we're gonna go out of 2d mode so zoom back into our player and i'm assuming that you're making a horror game and that you want to have like a jump scare in your skin so whenever, whenever that player walks through a certain area and then you know something pops up so i'm gonna be using this scene but yeah gonna make a 3d object a cube and this is going to be jump scare trigger something like that and i'm gonna align it here then scale it so that i make sure that the player is hitting it and can't you know walk past it something like that then i'm gonna remove the mesh render and the mesh filter so we only have the trigger, that's good. Or we only have the box glider and make sure that we have uh, is trigger selected. Very important. Then this is going to be the coding part. So let's go into our scripts folder and create a new C sharp script. I'm gonna call it job scare. Oh my God, there we go. So jump scare, okay. We are going to be using the update. Oh, sorry, the stars, but not the update. Okay, so the first thing that we need is a public game object. Jump scare image. I, get, I, I mean, you can use the image, right? So something like that. And then using the Unity system.ui or Unity engine.ui, but just for the sake of this video. I'm going to be using a key object. I think that that is more simple to understand. Okay, um, so we're going to say jump scare image dot set active false at the beginning of our scene. Then we're going to make a on trigger. My God. On trigger enter. We're going to say if other dot game object dot tag is is the player then we want to set it on so let's change that to true but now what's going to happen is when the enter or the player enters the trigger the image is going to stay active forever we need to be able to disable it after i don't know like three seconds or so how do we do that now there are multiple ways on how you can do this but i mean the easiest way or the way that I use is this. So I'm gonna be using a enumerator. I'm gonna say disable image, something like that. Oh my god, I can't. Oh. Image, yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, this expects a return type. So yield, uh, yield return new wait for seconds. I'm gonna say two seconds so after two seconds put the image off and then all we have to do is copy this line paste it underneath and set it to 
false. Now we need to call that function. So in order to do that, we're going to use the start coroutine and then call the method like so. Now a jump scare also needs a audio, right? Or like a, like a jump scare audio effect because otherwise it's not really a jump scare. You're only going to see the image. It's not going to um, scare the player. So what we're going to do is a public audio source and we're going to say, I'm just going to call it audio source. Doesn't really matter. And then all we have to do is paste it here and say play. And that should be it. So go back into our scene. I'm going to click on our jump scare trigger. I'm going to click and drag in the script. And I'm going to pop in the jump scare image into the image slot. And then in our jump scare trigger, we're going to make a new audio source. And this is going to be jump scare OD, whatever. Play on awake off, 2D on volume max. Okay, so I found this really cool um, sound effect. It's this one. I think it sounds pretty cool. And it's really, it's completely for free. I will leave a link in the description so you can download it if you want it to. So we're going to click on download. And then um, I'm going to click and drag. Hopefully, yeah, I'm in the scripts folder. Doesn't matter. I'm going to pop it here and then going to oh, control X or cut it. I'm going to paste it here. There we go. Uh, change it from compression format from Vorbis to PCM. There we go. And then all we have to do is put in this audio clip in the right slot. And then obviously in the trigger itself, put in the audio source. And then if we press on play, we should be able to get our jump scare. So if we go in, there we go. Now the thing is, it's going to keep doing this forever. So in order to, I mean, you can leave it as, as you want, but I'm going to make sure that you only trigger it once. So it's going to say private pool is played and this is going to be false. And then in this uh, if statement, I'm going to say if is played. So if it is false, which it is, play it once or play it. And then at the bottom, we're going to say is played true. And that should be it. Now it only should be playing once. So let's give it a try. All right. Same thing. Go. And now if I go back, we can see that it doesn't happen again. And that is going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Been getting a lot of positive comments on, you know, these unit tutorials that I'm making. So I appreciate it. And if you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, see ya.